The Five Finger Rasgado or the C-A-M-I-P Rasgado is probably the most unique Rasgado in flamenco guitar. I'm not sure if it's used in classical, I haven't heard any examples of that, but definitely in flamenco it's used quite a bit and it's very nuanced. So if applied wrong, it can sound really kind of bad. It can make you sound like very much a beginner. I'm Diego Alonso from DiegoAlonsoMusic.com and today I'm gonna break down the Five Finger Rasgado for you and show you exactly how it's applied, show you all the tricks to get it to sound good and show you some exercises as well. If you're new to this channel, I post weekly content on guitar technique, science-based practice strategies, educational videos on student repertoire, uh, performances, and quite a bit more. So please consider subscribing. And of course, please share this video and others on my channel with anyone you know who's learning guitar who would like to learn. In the introductory video that I made on all nine rasqueados, you'll see exactly how I apply the five finger rasqueado. It sounds like this. So let's dive right in again, add those exercises and make sure that you are doing this the right way. This strumming technique is a little bit funny. It's a little bit tricky uh, to get. You wanna make sure, once again, just like all the other videos, your setup is right, lower back comfortably straight, no hunching at the neck of the upper back. Make sure you've got a little bit of flexion, comfortable flexion in the wrist. No ulnar deviation or minimal, very minimal. And uh, your form or bicep is resting comfortably on the side of the guitar, all right? So this one is kind of like the previous video that I made in the series, which is the C-A-M-I-I -I video, except we're gonna eliminate the final I upstroke and replace it with P. So all the movements in this one are gonna be going downward. So you're gonna go C-A-M-I-P, but they're not separated like that. It's more together, right? What you're gonna notice that's very different uh, in this strumming technique versus the other ones is that I'm moving my arm this time, right? So, so I'm not fully extending my fingers. I'm gonna extend almost all the way and before I get all the way out, I'm gonna start the other finger. So it's C-A-M-I-P, C-A-M-I-P, right? And it sounds like this. example, this chord here, this is a fun chord to add in. Okay. So to practice this one, you really wanna just go slowly. It feels kind of sloppy a little bit at first. But you, the, t the key is gonna be to think about just doing this with your arm. Fingers in order, just practice like this. C-A-M-I-P, just go this slowly. Okay? Don't worry about the volume. It should be kind of a dragging sound. Okay? So first, you're gonna get this movement without extending the fingers, that's gonna be step one. So one, two, three, just bring the arm down, fingers in order. Don't worry if you miss a little bit, we're gonna tighten that up in a second. Okay? All right, make sure your pinky hits first, then the A, sorry, C finger, A, then M, then I, then P. Okay, now the next step is we're gonna to start to add a little bit of extension in each of the fingers. So C extends a little bit, A, M, I, and then P doesn't extend, it just drags. So C, A, M, I, P. Let's try this together very slowly. Ready, arm up, all fingers above the sixth string, start going down, extend C a little bit, extend A, extend M, I, and drag P. Again, one, two, three, extend, 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 drag. Up, extend, 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 drag. A little bit faster, so we're gonna go one, two, three, like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. A little bit faster, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Last one, two, three, okay? Now I know in all my videos, I always recommend practicing with variability, and that's, of course, the best way to improve your technique faster and better. 
With this particular one, the five finger uh, drag rasqueado, it's a little more challenging because we're limited with how we can vary the technique. But the best way you can do it and the simplest is to vary your dynamics and you can vary your tone as well. So focus mainly on those two. I think that would be the best thing. You can certainly uh, change your tempos, right? But it may sound a little funny if you go too fast and if you go too slow. So focus mostly on dynamics and tone to start and I think that's definitely gonna help. If you like this video, then you might be interested in checking out this video here on the arpeggios, three fingers, AMI. And of course, if you haven't seen it already, definitely check out the introductory video that I have on all nine rasqueados here. But before you do that, don't forget to click the like button to help this video appear higher in the search results. And of course, click the notification bell so that you know when I post another video. Thank you so much everybody and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.